God chose you and me. We were drafted by heaven. Now, we had to say yes, but the draft uh, authority was on our life and the choosing of God. Miles Monroe said it this way, alum of ORU, your destiny is chosen by God. Your future is certain. Whether you arrive there is up to you. Simon was chosen for a purpose. And that day in Jerusalem, he ran into his destiny. He didn't expect it. He didn't come to Jerusalem for that reason. But in that moment of calling, of choosing, of compelling, he is thrust in to the journey of Jesus, close to the Christ, able to see firsthand the passion of Jesus as he gives his life for all of humanity, and he is chosen for that moment. You and I are chosen as well, not to bear Christ's cross, but to bear our cross and follow him. Matthew chapter 16, verse 24 and 5 says, Then Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me will find it. Now, we are called to carry our own cross. The cross, I think all of us understand, is an instrument of reproach. Crucifixion, one of the most horrible deaths in the history of humanity, is a place where criminals were crucified or killed. It is rated by many historians as one of the most difficult deaths to die in the world, an instrument of reproach and death. And yet we are called to take up our cross our place of reproach, our place of of shame in some ways, our place when the world rejects us and our instrument of death and follow Jesus so that we might be crucified with Christ and nevertheless live, yet not us, but Christ living inside of us.